they so nurturing <laughs> and y'all getting them drunk. Poor. Oh, <laughs> you don't drink like though. These. Your spirit monkey don't drink. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashets React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we are back with another American reaction. We're super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that red subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road, road to 50k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, so I asked you guys on social media what the next Filler Week episode should be. I did a little poll on the two most popular suggestions. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, the slight majority on all platforms said they wanted me to do a Filler Week on The Caribbean Explained. So, here we go. Ah, The Caribbean. Now, culturally speaking, most of these places are very similar, like they all celebrate their own version of Carnival. They all love seafood and play their variation of <laughs> reggae, soccer, and calypso music. They all have like the sexiest black people or Creole black people on the planet. Anyway, on the technical side, The Caribbean right, is made up of thousands of islands, islets, and reefs, divided into 34 island entities, 13 of which are fully sovereign nation states, and the rest are overseas regions, territories, dependencies, and commonwealths, or autonomous constituencies that belong to the UK, France, Netherlands, the USA, Venezuela, and Colombia. Generally, if it had to be categorically placed, the Caribbean is considered part of North America, although sometimes others will say it's just kind of its own thing. The island chains are shaped like a hook engulfing the Caribbean Sea, which is on the Caribbean plate, and of these islands, there are three main island chains, the Lucayan Archipelago, the Greater Antilles, and the Lesser Antilles. In this video, we'll first go through the fully sovereign states and then the dependencies and territories. Keep in mind, we already did a lot of videos on these, so I encourage you to check out the episodes. Just go watch them. And before we get into it, as you know, here at Geography Now, we are pretty exclusive with whatever brands we work with. Usually, I only choose brands that I feel my subscribers and I can both enjoy. I actually asked you guys what you thought about this brand, and you said you were okay with it, so we <laughs> are promoting it. As you know, us dudes here at Geography Now sometimes have facial hair, and sometimes we have to shave our facial hair. And also, we do other things like shower and brush our tea. These are things you guys do too, right? See, we're on the same page. So far, so good. Well, now that we've established that, it is my honor to say thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. I'm sure many of you guys have already heard of them. They're pretty popular and for a good reason. For one, it's not just shaving products, but all different kinds. They have everything from shower products, oral care, hair care, skin care, and even butt wipes. They ship right to your home, and for right now, they have a great offer where you can get a starter set for only $5. After that, you can customize your own preference with whatever you want and switch up the products and prices to whatever you feel comfortable with. If you have a body, they got you covered. To get your $5 <laughs> starter set, go to the link in the description below. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Antigua and Barbuda, here, one bro. of the four twin island countries. It's kind of like the quieter, rich getaway island area. Famous for their black pineapple, frigate bird sanctuary. They have 365 beaches. Rich and ghetto. Year. Most of the 93,000 people <laughs> live on I've never Antigua. heard those two terms together, <laughs> oh, no, ever. Wait, wait. No, no, that's what I thought he said, too. But I think he said getaway. Nah, nah. Let, let's let's rewind nah, it. He said because I thought ghetto. I was gonna stop it too, but <laughs> I think he said let's getaway. See and Barbuda, one of the four twin island countries. It's kind of like the quieter, the rich getaway, getaway right. island area. Famous for getaway. their black pineapple, it, sanctuary. They have 365 <laughs> clubs. Antigua and Barbuda, one of the four twin island countries. It's kind of like the quieter, rich getaway island area. Oh, getaway. They have 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. Most of the 93,000 people live on Antigua Island, and only about 2,000 live on Barbuda, the flat marshy island. They also legally own Redonda Island, which has nothing but birds and a small unnamed gecko species on it. The Bahamas, named after the Spanish word Bahamar, meaning shallow sea. This was the first place Christopher Columbus discovered on his voyage to the New world. Long story short, because of its location, it's kind of like the Hawaii of the East Coast. This is pretty much where Americans anywhere east of the Mississippi like to go on vacation when they want a tropical island experience. There's so many cruise ships that go here, too many tourist sites like underwater. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why are you calling this out? I, hey, Bahamas is a nice place to be though. I, I mean, that's one of the top places to go to on a cruise. It is, yeah. But like, y'all, I don't think I don't think y'all will be seeing us on a cruise. If y'all do, we had a big change of heart. I don't think I could be <laughs> over the water that long. Oh one my God. time, one time was enough yes. for us, and that, that experience was, a few hours. was like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and even having kids with the kids on the boat, like they wasn't too happy with oh, it. Oh, that, that up cruise. and everything. Yeah, oh. I think that was the only cruise that we really went to the like 
depths oh, of the depths of like, yeah yeah because the first one we went just down the mississippi river yeah you see being on the once you fall off once you fall off a boat you just keep falling <laughs> just can't be that look look this guy under the water see i can't mm -mm. oh god <laughs> caves, pink sand beaches, fortresses, native Taino sites. There's even an island with swimming pigs. That we heard. Ask yeah, for yeah. Barbados. Jeez, ah, Rihanna, you still haven't gotten back to me. Barbados is basically the oddball of the Caribbean. For one, it's not even located on the trench line, and for some reason, it sits about 100 miles east of their neighbors, which means they are outside of the hurricane zone and they rarely get affected. It was also the only yeah. island to have been briefly colonized by the Portuguese, but then they just kind of abandoned it. Known as the Bajan people, they are one of the richest nations in the Caribbean, known for their month-long crop over festival they love eating flying fish and cuckoo Ooh, washed down with good. mountain gay rum pretty good stuff i've tried it kraken will always be my number one though but barbados you're doing it right cuba the largest and most populous of the caribbean nations but not the most populous island that belongs to hispaniola the name of the island shared with haiti and dominican republic cuba yeah. is of course yeah, yeah, a spanish-speaking yeah, caribbean cool. nation considered part of latin america we all know about the revolution <laughs> the che Guevara stuff and how the marxist leninist communist party has ruled since the 60s which led to the tension during the cuban missile crisis Clearly, it was resolved by the X-Men. No, but seriously, Cuba sticks out much in that they were pretty much isolated for a long time and kind of kept things to themselves. There was a lot of tension against the U.S., although awkwardly, the U.S. still kind of kept Guantanamo Bay. Aside from all that, though, they have lots of resources and culture. I mean, you can still find the Santeria rituals being performed. Okay. Boxing and baseball are huge out here. They love doing the mambo, cha-cha, and bolero, and rumba. Dominica, the quiet bookworm girl, youngest sister of the Caribbean. Dominica is probably the most well-kept island in the Caribbean nature wise and the government deliberately discourages mass tourism to maintain the beauty lots of rare That's animal good. species found nice. here including the national animal the cicero parrot found on the flag known for their purple feathers this is a volcanic island and it is still growing through the geothermal activity they have the second largest hot spring in the world boiling lake and they have the champagne oh, beach with Hold on, guys. Yep. the boiling lake like i just feel like that you're not supposed to go in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna finish words for you because it says it's boiling like lake. So they say. I mean, I, I gotta see somebody in there. I know you guys probably got researchers and everything to pop off. We for have us, but... hot springs in Arkansas. Hot like springs, right boiling lake. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Where do you want to go with this? I don't know. I just feel like that's like a good cleansing. But you know what? You can't stay up in there too long because then you'll be sleepy and you know. Oh yeah, you're gonna cook. Fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> Bahamas, do they have the mud lakes like where you get in and do the mud baths and stuff? Oh, I wonder. I don't know. I wonder if he's going to mention that on there. I mean, you know, that's another type of lake. Yeah. It's not boiling, though. I don't think I'm going to get in there. So you get in boiling water before? I'll get yeah, in boiling the, water. The showers. The showers hold on you. <laughs> yeah bubbles coming out of the ground. Dominica also has one of the highest centenarian populations per capita on the planet. Many say it's because of the healthy diet and the happy, carefree atmosphere. Dominican Republic. That's Dominicans good. have quite a reputation. First off, they share the island with Haiti, and together the island as a whole has over 20 million people, about twice that of Cuba. The Dominican Republic is, of course, a Spanish-speaking Latin American country, yet for a long time there was a lot of tension between them and the French and Haiti. Haiti oh, no. even took over for a time, and lots of crazy things happened. For what it's worth, though, Dominicans are definitely known for being some of the best baseball players in the world. They, along with with Chile are the fastest talkers in the Spanish-speaking world, and many people have trouble understanding them. And there's always, like, this weird rivalry they have with Puerto Rico in, like, everything. Yeah. Food, dance, sports, who has the best celebrities. Although, let's be real. Come on, J-Lo. Sorry, Dominican Republic. For what it's worth, though, the majority of the people in the DR are either black or mixed with black, making it the blackest of all the Latin American countries. Uh, what else? They love merengue, uh, bachata, mofongos, and tostones, but don't tell that to the Puerto Ricans. Grenada, the Spice Island. Grenada is known for two things. Being now. the world's second largest producer of nutmeg, after Indonesia, producing about 20% of the world's supply. Not bad for one small little island. They even put it on their flag. And the other one is the Operation Agent Fury invasion in the 80s, which was criticized internationally, but it kind of worked out, and the people of Grenada were, like, kind of okay with it in the end. And yeah, look it up. Grenada is also famous for their interesting Jab Jab Festival, in which people douse themselves in oil and wear horns and dance to a drum-fueled frenzy to express freedom somehow. Haiti, the first black republic in the world. Ga That's... I've never heard of that festival, ever. No. Nah. And I've heard of, you know, basically all of the carnivals. I love seeing, you know, yeah. the, the parades and all of the, you know, the garments that I should wear. And you should wear too, babe. Me too? <laughs> no, the the male version. I ain't seen no male. But man. I think that... <laughs> he said this is where all the sexiest women are. There's no men there no, with one day we gotta I've go. never seen. Okay, one day right. we gotta go. I'm definitely wait, down wait. for that. I need to know about the oil. Like, he kind of skimmed over that. 
I've never heard of that that festival. Yeah, it's different. You paint yourself in all your red horns. So what is that symbolizing? Because yeah. everything is a symbol, symbolic at some point. Right. He you know said freedom. Freedom. Oh, yeah, yeah. He showed sure did. But I need to know like, what the oil represents and stuff freedom. like that. Freedom. And why oil? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oil, like, what kind of oil? Yeah, really. What kind of oil? <laughs> so wait, 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 I'm, wait, I'm just, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, okay, wait. okay, okay. So if you want to see Dion and I, you know, to the carnival, not the oil. <laughs> not the oil. <laughs> I want the little big feathers and the carnival you guys you know? never know we may be too turned that we may try everything like we may be like yeah, yeah. throw all you on me right now <laughs> <laughs> yes i want i want to i want to get cute with my man okay at the carnival okay we gotta remember that we at the carnival though Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> with you. from France in 1804. They had a revolution and you know the rest. This place is stereotypically known as the Voodoo Island since voodoo is still sometimes practiced here in certain areas. Haiti is also the largest Francophone nation and population in the Americas, more than Quebec. It's interesting though, because they made their own Creole the official language and use it in schools, written in street signs, books. It's a separate thing from French. Creole Some language. say Haiti is one of the most unlucky nice. countries in the Western Hemisphere. Nonetheless, they are also one of the most colorful and distinct in the Caribbean nations with a plethora of crayons dance, music, festivals, and food. Oh man, you gotta try Haitian food, it's so good. Jamaica, the music Jamaica. island. We all know this guy, not too much I can tell you that you probably don't already know. The birthplace of reggae, ska, rock steady, genres that would change the face of music forever. They produce the most music per capita out of any nation in the world. So many famous Jamaicans too, not just in the music industry, I'm sure you've heard of many of them. In any case, Jamaica has its pride, yet its problems, yet overall is probably one of the chillest nations in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. and they have the fastest runners in the world. Mm. Now we reach the three saints, St. Kitts and Nevis, known as the mother colony of the West Indies. This was the first European colonized area in the Caribbean. St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest sovereign nation in the Western Hemisphere, both in size and population, with only about 55,000 people. Out of all the saints, St. Kitts and Nevis is the most English influenced one, as opposed to the others, which were French. The island was formed by a volcano, and it has one of the shortest isthmuses in the world at the tip of St. Kitts. Uh, let's see, they're also famous for the drunk monkeys. Hundreds of years oh, ago, the they monkey. were brought over from Africa, and now they are known for taking the leftover drinks that tourists leave on the beach and they get totally drunk. It's hilarious. Look at Oh my god. And I think at monkeys. some point they, they just let it happen. Like yeah. I think it's like purposely done. Oh. It's no oh, monkeys. the monkeys come down and get their tip on like they monkeys are my spirit animals. Oh. They're so nurturing <laughs> and y'all getting them drunk. Oh. <laughs> you don't the drink monkeys. though. Your spirit monkey don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think your spirit monkey need a silk. Oh, no. Obviously. No. Oh, poor baby. St. Funny. Lucia, known as the Helen of the West Indies, because like Helen of Troy in the Odyssey, the island was fought over between the British and French 14 times. It's like a weird Fort. English French mixed what? island. Like, even though the British got indefinite control in the 19th century, they still retain some of the French influence. Everyone speaks both English and Lucian French Creole. Otherwise, it's another volcanic island. Sulphur Springs is the world's only dive in volcano. Let's see, they love uh, green fish and salt fish. Everybody has paused for Sierra. Dive in. Volcano. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody has paused for Sierra. No, see, the way I'm that sounds. I'm always thinking. Boiling lake. No. Okay. <laughs> boiling <Spring>. lake. <laughs> dive in volcano. That's two different things. Okay. I'm not jumping in no lava. If you ask me, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> If you ask me, it's got to the same. I don't know, babe. I, 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 Let's just stick with the hot well, springs. Yeah, I'll do the hot springs. So there's a lot of people diving into a volcano. You, you dive into? I don't know. The, I'm not diving into well, the that's volcano. What, it's called. what is it called? Volcano Lake? Yeah, something like that. Dive in. The only dive in volcano. Yeah, that's a lot of people waiting to go. Interesting. Interesting. Let us know if you've done it before. Yeah, let us know. She needs clarity. What was your experience? <laughs> she needs to know your experience. Because my thing is, I can't enjoy myself because I'm thinking, oh, it's about to erupt at any moment. <sighs> Y'all smell it? It's some cooking. Mm -mm. It's getting hot here. Mm -hmm. No, baby, that's the that's the volcano. It's just talking to you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they boast two Nobel laureates, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like St. Lucia, these islands were also fought relentlessly between the French and English. Finally, Treaty of Versailles, British, you know the deal. The nation is basically one big island where the majority of people live, St. Vincent, which has an active volcano, and 32 smaller islets and keys, many of which are private islands owned by either companies or people, like Moustique Island. It has some weird names of places on it, like Gingerbread, Buttercup, Opium, and Macaroni Beach. It's one of the few oh, Caribbean baker. countries with petroglyphs recording yeah. that can be found in these towns. 
And finally, Trinidad and Tobago, the last of the twin island countries. This island nation has switched between the hands of different European colonizers more than any other island nation in the Caribbean. Started out Spanish, then it became French, British, Dutch, and then yes, even Corlander, which is like a fancy ancient term for Lithuanian. Yeah, Lithuania, once under the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, took over Tobago for a short period of time. Compared to the other states, Trinidad has a very industrialized economy rooted in manufacturing and petroleum. Yes, they have oil and gas reserves. They even have a few skyscrapers built in their downtown area district. Very diverse population wise, about two thirds are black or mixed with black, and the majority of the rest are Indian, like from India, which makes about a fifth of the population Hindu, which plays a strong role in the national festivals and holidays. Otherwise, uh, yeah, what else? Uh, Nicki Minaj. And now we reach the overseas territories and dependencies and constituencies and so on. Now for the UK, they have five islands, all of which are pretty much tax havens. First, we have Anguilla. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Named after the Spanish word for eel because the islands are kind of shaped like an eel. Only about 14,000 people, and there's goats everywhere for some reason. And uh, Chuck Norris lived there once. Virgin Islands. This used to be a huge pirate hangout, and uh, today you might be able to find some buried treasure. When Richard Branson named his company after this place because he loved it so much, he spends about half the year on Nectar Island. Cayman Islands. Supposedly, this was the birthplace of scuba diving. Really cool turtles, which is where it got its name from. And yeah, probably the biggest tax haven island of them all. Montserrat. This island had a huge volcanic eruption in 1995 that effectively shut down like half of the entire island and burned down the old capital. You can still see the old ruins today, and it's kind of interesting. Turks and Caicos. This is like like Bahamas little brother there. that ended up staying with the UK and at one point it almost joined Canada and could have been like Canada's Hawaii. No one knows exactly how they got crazy. their name, something about cactus yeah. looking like a Turkish hat, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> they have one of the largest barrier reefs in the world and they also play this thing called ripsaw music with a handsaw scraped with a knife. On a little extra credit, Bermuda is not technically the Caribbean, it's in the Atlantic. The ripsaw reminds me of Zydeco. Ripsaw music definitely like strength, yeah, Zydeco. I'm getting Zydeco vibes from yeah, it as well. Yeah, he said... Yeah chainsaw with a knife that's zydeco i wonder if there's any relation there i forgot the instrument they had for zydeco that actually resemble, resembles that 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 vest thing that they oh, put the on spoons. yeah with yeah, the yeah, spoons. yeah 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 okay y'all okay, look okay. <laughs> we got we could describe something really well but when you ask us the official name we're, we're not sure we don't know we don't know <laughs> But it is a UK overseas territory, although sometimes the people of Bermuda classify themselves as Caribbean. Eh. And now the French islands. Guadeloupe and Martinique. These are regions of France, and they hold the exact same status and legislative power as the regions of European France. They are part of their Eurozone and speak French and Creole. They are like the Hawaii's of France. Both have active volcanoes. One on Martinique killed lots of people in 1902. Beautiful mm -hmm. landscape. Guadeloupe has disputably the highest waterfall in the Caribbean. Saint Bartholomew. This used to be part of Guadeloupe, but it broke off in 2003, and now it's just a French collectivity. This is an interesting one because it was the only island colonized by the Swedish for a significant amount of time and you can even see the symbolism in their coat of arms with the three crowns. And finally Saint Martin. This is also a collectivity like Saint Barlemy and it's like the weird northern conjoined twin of the Dutch Saint Martin that shares the same name on the same island. It's basically a resort town and tropical getaway spot with a cool lagoon. Which brings us to the Dutch islands. First off the ABC islands Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. Two of them are considered constituent countries within the kingdom of the Netherlands. Aruba and Curaçao. However Bonaire voted to have closer ties and is considered a special municipality. All three speak Dutch, although English is widely known and taught. They were once known as the Land of Giants as the natives were kind of supposedly really tall. They have interesting traditional indigenous sites and petroglyphs and cacti. Otherwise, yeah, you see a very distinct Dutch style in their architecture and very colorful buildings on all three of them. Then we get to the SSS Islands. Saba, St. Eustatius, and St. Martin. Saba is a special municipality. It is basically just a jutting volcano, potentially still active, and it is the least populated out of all the Caribbean units with only about 2,000 yeah, people. It also has the shortest airport either. runway in the world. St. Eustatius is also a special municipality. It's also very small, and at one point they had a huge Jewish population. You can still see the walls of the former synagogue and Jewish wow. cemetery. And finally, St. Martin. It's considered a constituent country like Aruba and Curaçao. They also have that weird Princess Juliana airport with planes that get really close to the beach and people go under it. And now the South American islands. Venezuela operates the federal dependencies of Venezuela, a chain of about 600 offshore islands and islets only populated by about 2,200 people, most of whom are on the largest island, La Tortuga. These islands are also important not only in giving Venezuela an extended economic zone, but also maintaining their offshore oil deposits. And for Colombia, they administer the San Andres, Providencia, and La Catalina Archipelago Islands, confusingly closer to Nicaragua, but nope, they took over them. San Andres is the more popular one. It has a cool resort and the culture centers of the native inhabitants. Interestingly enough, though, they have a flag that basically is the same as Scotland's, just a lighter blue hue. Finally, the 
islands administered by the USA. You have three of them, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and Navassa Island. The Virgin Islands are classified as an unincorporated organized territory of the USA. They were for the longest time actually colonized by Denmark until they were sold to the US back in 1916. Today they are known for the pristine tourist sites and beaches that people like to have weddings on. Puerto Rico is classified as an unincorporated territory to the United States and is the largest of all the territories both in area and population wise at over 3 million. Puerto Rico is very complicated because in almost every right they are pretty much like their own country with incredibly high self-administration and autonomy. They mostly speak Spanish as their first language, English as a second one. They are US citizens and can move about the US with no problem, which is probably why there are actually more Puerto Rican people living in the US than there are in Puerto Rico. This is a very unique topic. Maybe I should just make a whole separate vil filler week video on it. I don't know. And finally, the disputed but mostly US held island of Navassa Island. This has nobody on it, no harbors, no airstrips, only a lighthouse. And since it has become a wildlife refuge, it has been closed off to visitors unless you get a permit from the Fish and Wildlife Office in Bocaron, Puerto Rico. And that's just about it. Pretty much everything in the Caribbean. You have 13 countries, 21 overseas entities of other countries, and a few hurricanes and earthquakes, but nothing can stop that warm tropical joy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. All right, all right, all that right. That was really, really educational. He Born in a lake. <laughs> he didn't do a lot of, you know, the, the things that he would do with the other episodes, so... Yeah, he I definitely he definitely smooths out through this one, man. Very informative. Very yes. informative. You yes. guys can learn a lot. You yes. know what I'm saying? So here on this channel, you you know, you tapping in, you can definitely learn a lot from these places. Yes, definitely. I would love my top three would be Saint Kitts, Jamaica, of course. And no, I, I'm gonna do five. <laughs> the yeah, Bahamas, a lot. A Barbados, lot. and Turks and Caicos. I have no idea where I would wanna go. Whatever your wife calls. I think that's the best. I'm going to choose the best of the best. <laughs> no, nah, real talk though. Always. So, guys, this is our dilemma, right? So, we want to travel. Especially the Caribbean is going to be, you know, a spot for us. But we want to go somewhere where the children can go. Right. And But we can have, like, you know, some days where we can, you know, get away and do things that the kids will have to be asleep for. That kind of sound off. But what I mean is, we want like date nights yeah. with children and then date nights by ourselves. Then we want to go on like the historic tours. Then we want to go on like, we want to see the volcanoes and you know, all that stuff. So that's I how I think I being a guys. parent, you understand where we're coming from. <laughs> right. Because having a child hold your hand, the whole experience isn't probably the best way you would want to do your thing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You would want to do your own thing at some point. Yeah. So. Yeah, we would definitely would like that. And we have our ways on, you know what I'm saying, how it can help us. Mm -hmm. You know, that help can help us with us having that experience. Right. So that help can have an experience by helping us <laughs> if you get where we're coming from. <laughs> You're so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like bringing somebody with us. So why did I just say that? I don't know. I don't know why I do stuff I like that. I don't know. My brain. But because um, you're too busy focused on your wife. But what I was gonna say was, dang it, Dion! You did I it to forgot. yourself. You did it to yourself. Um. Okay. So another dilemma that we have is, if we were to go here to one of these Caribbean islands, would it be best for us to, you know, stay amongst the lo locals, like you know, outside of a resort, or would it be best to stay at a resort? And just travel to and from wherever we want to go. Because we don't want, like, the touristy feel. We want, like, the real stuff. Yeah, like, we we like we glued in a community. Yeah. Like, right. like, we locked in. You know right. 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 So, let us know if you are at one of these islands. Definitely. That would definitely help us, to, you know, decipher where we want to go when we go to the Caribbean. And let us know your thoughts on those those topics. And Sierra wants to put on the the outfit, the carnival, the and carnival Dion outfits. too. So do Dion wear just like some shorts and we'll get some paint? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah, I think so. It's, yeah. it's all about right. A few I just beads, feel like that is just so sexy. Wristbands, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the buy. You guys don't see it, but I got the buy for it too. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta work on my mommy good. <laughs> but we, I have the I, rest of the buy. I know where it's going. Okay. So we, ha we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. 
as well as our join feature to be to become a VIP member. Check it out. Check out the description box below for our mailing address, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.